Hi everyone. This video covers the update process to install a new firmware on the 3BSM control board that adds a safety feature to prevent accidental damage to the servos during setup. It's an important enough change that I thought it made sense to film a video about this just to go through the process of updating and describe what's different. My setup here is my F35B model with uh, the batteries already connected, everything's powered up. I've got my RC transmitter here on the side and I'm going to connect it to my laptop uh, through the 3BSM control board with a micro USB cable. Now we'll take a look at the 3BSM config app. And this is the latest version of the app, 1.3.0. If we click on the release notes, we'll see what's new. Uh, there's some cosmetic changes to how the calibration buttons are labeled, but more importantly, there's this note that's labeled detects whether servos are powered up at boot to prevent damage. Uh, if you've already assembled and used your 3BSM, you've noticed that it does a homing process at boot. Uh, in order to move all the servos to one endpoint at the straight position and set that as a reference for all of the other angle motions that are commanded for the motion of the duct. What happens is if you power up the 3BSM control board without the servos plugged in or without battery power present, it'll try to perform that homing action, but it can't because the servos don't exist, so it'll eventually time out so that you can still connect to the 3BSM control board and continue the setup. The problem there is that if you plug the power to the servos back in before disconnecting power from the 3BSM control board, it'll be sending regular motion commands to the servos uh, that you would see uh, if it was in normal operation after homing. So since those servos haven't been homed, and if they start at a position that's not the straight position, they can run to the other end stop and damage themselves. So this update will now check to see whether it's getting messages from all of the servos when it boots, and if it doesn't, it'll disable motion commands to those servos until the next power cycle. This way, if you've got the 3BSM control board powered up before the servos and you've done configuration, there's no way to accidentally start moving the servos around without them being homed, because that'll be prevented until the next full reboot. To start the update process, we'll go ahead and choose the correct COM port for our 3BSM control board from the drop-down here, and we'll click Connect. Right away, we'll get a pop-up that our device firmware is out of date and that we should update before continuing. So we'll choose Update. We'll see that the update is flashing, and we'll also see some flashing LEDs on the top of the 3BSM control board. Now the update is complete. The control board is going to power cycle, so we'll see the homing sequence happen again. We'll let that take place before we change anything. And there it is. Uh, the nozzle already started straight, so it didn't have much homing to do. The update did disconnect us from the 3BSM control board, so to reconnect, we'll just click the connect button again. Now the update's been applied and everything works normally, so if we switch flight modes, we'll see that we've got regular motion control of the thrust vector angles. That's it for the update, but let's say that we accidentally powered up without power to the servos. To simulate that, I'll first disconnect from my USB connection here. I'll power down for a moment, and I'm going to disconnect this wire that provides power to the servo side of the 3BSM control board. I'll plug my main power back in. I'll reconnect the USB cable. And back over here, we'll try to connect to the 3BSM control board again. Right away, we get this message that one or more servos was not detected. You can still configure, but motion is disabled until the next power cycle. So now, all of the controls on the 3BSM configuration app still work. You can set your endpoints here, you can do your calibrations. But there's no motion of the 3BSM itself if we try to change flight modes.
And that's how the servos are now protected against unintended motion. We didn't home them because they weren't powered up, so now we're not allowing them to move for normal operation. The next time I power up with the servo power plugged in, everything will work normally again. That's it for this update. I hope it smooths out the process of setting up and using the 3BSM a little bit overall. If you need support, you can reach me through Lofted Arrow as usual, but the best place to do that nowadays is on my new Discord server, which I'll link to in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.